Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to episode 16 of the Atletico Football Manager Series. Not recorded this in a while, but I'm excited to get back into it. We're just about to get into the transfer window and sort of make any signings we possibly can. Before we get into it though, please like the video, share the video, drop a comment below on any potential signings that you recommend and be sure to subscribe while you're there. Let's get into it. So right off the bat, the first thing we're going to do is decide about some players that possibly we are going to be getting rid of now. We already have obviously got Rudiger and Dybala coming in on the free. So the first thing we're going to do is we, we need to realise that we've got two very big players coming in already. We've got 24 million to spend. Unfortunately, we've only got 30% of the transfer revenue available to us. So the players that we sell... We're not going to be getting loads of money back for them. We're only going to be selling them pretty much to possibly, you know, free up some wage and, you know, just get rid of players that we don't really use. And one of the players that definitely will be going is going to be um, Matthias Kuna. Um, I just never really worked with him. He didn't really work for me. And we already have, I believe, got him on the transfer list. We got a very poor offer there from Bayer Leverkusen. I'm going to offer him to clubs again. Um, but we'll just look at this team again. Everyone else, I think I'm actually going to keep because some of these loan players, we are going to look to sort of sell. Um, like Maratta, we are sort of, um, we can't do it yet. But people like Maratta, we are looking to offload and possibly um, depending on some of these players as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly look about on the market, see if there's any players we can possibly get on the free, because you never know. And also maybe if there's any cheaper players that we can sign, because we have I've had a couple of interesting offers since we last spoke. I'm very tempted to actually work with United here on this, because we are bringing in Rudiger, which would still leave us then with four centre-backs. Um, and obviously, although we're not going to be getting as much money, I'm actually quite happy to take this offer. Um, so we are going to accept that one. Now, I didn't see another interesting one, which obviously is 47 million um, for Correa. 33 million of that up front. And Correa was a player last season who, like, we, we rotated the wingers quite often last time. And now, obviously, we have got Dybala, who um, can play on the wing. So, again, I am quite tempted to look into this. And it's quite a good deal, to be honest. Potential value of 47 million, pretty much his higher end of the spectrum. Um, I am pretty in fact i am going to accept that and um hopefully we can put this into getting some new players because as i said i'm going to keep this series going until i've won literally everything possible at the club and for me okay Lodi will not be will not be getting sold um but i'm going to be keeping this series going until basically i have um won everything so i want to future proof myself because i've just seen also by the way guys and bappe has gone to real madrid so not good for us there but um, obviously, we won the league in the first season. We won the Super Super Cup. Um, so there's the Copa del Rey, the like the um, you got the Champions League, obviously. Um, and when I say win everything, like obviously, if I win the Champions League, I'm not then going to relegate. I'm not relegate. I'm then not going to purposely get sent down and get Europa. I'm going to win all the biggest trophies I can. And it was just lucky in the first season we managed to win it. Um, so luckily, the big one's done. But we're going to quickly carry on. I'm going to do a little bit more admin behind the scene work. And I'll come back to you once we've got some more interesting stories. I've actually got two more emails now um, about people that were obviously on loan. And the director of football has actually accepted the release clauses. So Gribich, our backup goalkeeper, one of our goalkeepers, and also Maratta will be staying at Juventus for 30 million um, release clauses. Which isn't too bad, to be fair. But... Um, one position which I've seen we do need to like get back up in, especially is this wing back now, because we've only actually got one backup fullback. Um, obviously, I've actually got some people, like Arius is coming back, I suppose, but we might be looking to try and sign another fullback just to have us back up. So there's been quite a lot happening in terms of transfers. As you can see here, we have got the two lads in. Um, this is just a, literally a friendly cup. So we're just going to sort of, we're going to play it, but only do like the commentary. So we're not going to watch the whole game because um, realistically it's not too important. But there's been a lot, a lot going on, to be honest. We've also got a load of players that have just come back. So what we're going to do is we are, it's going to have only commentary on you so it runs through. Um, we've had a lot of players come back. 
and a few of them have left already so like obviously Morata's left and also the backup goalkeeper but we've got Ibanez back who I think is a centre half who I'm going to be looking to offload as well I put a contract offer in for Kese um, he's obviously on the free and that will just give us more options in midfield because we did pick up a bit of injury time last season for some of the players and although we've got good depth he's on the free quality player I've not managed to find a left back or a right back as backup just yet but we are still working on that but I thought I'd just throw a game in here um just to break it all up just so it's not purely just going through menus and stuff like that as I say this we're actually semi-struggling um to this team do we just get a goal there Di Bala gets his goal on his debut and that's what I love to see obviously you know okay I don't have to see that they've equalized right away um it is nice to see Di Bala playing and getting a goal Jao Felix there with a goal um I will say this we didn't manage to get him as I said Real Madrid got him but we we did try and put a cheeky offer in for Mbappe but he chose Real Madrid um as he probably well he would in real life um but we are still looking to try and bring players into the club because last season, although we won the league, when it comes when it comes to the other competitions, I will say we weren't as strong as the other teams because we didn't have as much depth. So like we didn't win the Champions League, um, surely because we got outplayed by Man City for one, but also players were tired and everything like this this season maybe i might be looking to take the champions league a bit more serious because as i said the whole goal of this series is to win everything i can with this club and i've obviously won the um the spanish division won the uh, super copper i've got to win the copa del rey i've got to win the champions league and obviously the um I think the Super Cup, which is what we, we will be playing in, which is the Champions League winner of the Europa League. So we've got to win one of those to get into it. Um, so that one, not so serious. It's more like the, the important trophies. I'll know when I get to a stage at this club where I feel like I've won all the, all the stuff that really matters. And to be fair, last season was such a good way to start that. And this game has been action, action packed, actually. Six goals. Um, obviously, Dybala, Felix, Lamar, and Lodi with the goals. Lodi is getting bombarded with transfer requests, but he's not going anywhere, guys. I refuse to sell him um, just because we're not going to get hardly anything for him in terms of what we actually get into our pockets um so i'm not going to sell him and be looking to bring anyone else in at all but that is a rather convincing win there um dominated the game they did score a couple goals though but a 4-2 win nonetheless there and that is the semi-finals done hopefully that's not just the first leg thing hopefully that's the whole the whole tie i said this friendly thing's not really too important but you know i, I may as well play it and you know get another trophy why not but in terms of schedule um we can see there actually a uh, friendly cup final there, and then we've got a friendly there against Inter Milan. So I'll come back to you once we're into the final, the this little friendly cup, or unless there's any more transfer news. So then, guys, we're into the final. We're actually playing a rotation side because there was literally the semi-final. The next day was the final, but we've got a ridiculously strong bench. So if it doesn't go our way, then obviously we can sort of just look to that. But um, this isn't really a, a thing which I'm too fussed about. Obviously, you want to win. I mean, why not, right? You want to win every game of football you play, but at the end of the day, it's not too serious. Nothing really happened in terms of transfers there as we go one up with Kuna, a player which should actually be leaving soon. Um, he did accept a contract, but nothing else has um, really um, appeared from that. I am going to be looking into Arias. Um, actually, I'll tell you what, we'll have a quick look at him now. So... Over, 30 years old, yes, but I mean, overall, he's more than, I'm more than happy to use him as a backup fullback. So that eliminates one issue. Maybe we still need another backup um, for the left-hand side, because Montoya is not a default left-back, you see. Um, so maybe like a backup left-back, but other than that, I'm just going to see who we can get, because we've not got a ridiculous amount of money, but because we've offloaded so many players... I would like to bring a player in because, or bring more players in. I know we've got Dybala, we've got Rudiger, but we're, we're, by the time this is done, we're going to sell like four or five players and it's a lot of depth gone. So we want to replace them, even if they are people that are on the bench, because, you know, you get to that stage of the season and it's really difficult to to get through it if you've not got depth because it's game after game, relentless football. And obviously we're trying to win the Cups. We're trying to do everything. Um... 
And it does become difficult, but 2 0 up there, Arias with a goal. And I'm not going to be looking to make any subs unless I physically have to. Um, they have got a goal back there. So I might make some subs soon, just get on some star players. Why not, actually? Let's just do it. Um, j just so we guarantee it, we'll sort of get on Felix. We'll um, get on Dybala. Get on Carrasco. In fact, I think we can make loads of subs in this, so why not? We may as well get on Lorente. Get on Rudiger there. And we'll keep that as it is. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll bring that on there then. Um, that was the wrong Ibanez, by the way, I thought of. There is an Ibanez who plays for possibly Roma, I think, who is a centre-back, um, who I thought we somehow had on loan um, there. But it's a different player by the looks of it. So we will definitely be looking into him because... At the end of the day, if there's a player in this team that won't ever get game time, I will sell him, even if we're not going to get loads of money back for him. It just makes sense, because obviously, otherwise he's just going to be rotten on the bench. We're going to add a bit of time wasting in here as well, why not? And just so I don't have it on for the, you know, off, sorry, for the start of the season, we'll have key highlights back on, because otherwise I will forget, um, as we get a highlight here. So we'll just watch this. Felix, Ritzkan, Dogbia, Arias, good save. Um, but no... The goal for this season would obviously, ideally, in a dream world, to maintain the title. But I really would like to win the Champions League with this team. Um, I feel like the players we've brought in, being Dybala, possibly more on the terms of Rudiger, really strengthening up that back line, bringing in a world-class defender to go along the lines of the other defenders we have. I feel like we put ourselves in a lot better position. And... Um, I'm really hoping we can as we get our first bit of silverware, if you can class it as silverware, in the friendly cup. But we're going to do a little bit more of the old, you know, sort of sign and stuff like that. I might play the friendlies and just show you the results after, but I'll get back to you once we've got some transfer news. So I found this guy here um, at left back. Quite an attack and left back, but his stats look absolutely incredible. Um, he's 27, and he obviously would be um, a backup to Lodi, but his value is definitely something that we can work with. Um, we are going to offer a sensible amount of around £8.5 million, and they want 12. If they can do him for 10, I'll be very, very tempted. We'll do 10.5. They're happy with that. Now, I don't mind paying sort of that for a, like a, a backup to potentially first team, depending because Lodi is really knocking on the door now. Um, I can't actually remove that, but I'm fine with that. Um, squad players, fine. Um, contract right away. That's perfect. Tone that down a little bit. Um, we don't really want a release clause that low. Um, up to Up to 60 would be ideal. And he's fine with that. So there we go. If, as long as he accepts the contract and it goes through fine, we've signed a backup left back, which is really important because it's a player or a position which we were weak in. Well, actually, let's scrap that idea. Let's cancel this really quickly because I should have done what I said originally and look at some of the players we've got back. Now, this guy here, there's a backup left back. Actually looks very good. At the moment, obviously, his ability is quite low. Great or decent potential, but his stats look very well-rounded, and it would save us £10 million um, pounds as well. He looks more than good enough to be a backup, so definitely a player I'm looking to um, get involved there. Who is this guy here? Um, not as positive. Um, probably won't break through for a while, so that will be a player I do look to get rid of. That is for sure. We will offer him to clubs as well. Um, let's have a little look. Ibn, this is the guy I was looking for. Yeah, this is not the guy yet. That's definitely not the one, the person I was thinking of. Um, unfortunately, we do not need him, so we will be getting rid of him. We're being ruthless in transfers because we are in a poor financial situation. Um, Soto will keep. Um, Jimenez, Carrasco, Lodi, Lorente. Um, what? Saul is back as well. Um, obviously, wow. I mean, quite a experienced player. A player which we are, I am tempted to keep, to be honest, because although he's not had a great spell at Chelsea, he's definitely going to help our midfield. So we're definitely happy to have him back. But at least we've saved we've saved ten million pound there, and that leaves us with can we no? So we've got about twenty two million left, I believe. Um, unless that's updated now, I don't know if it has. No. So well, thirty two offers. Okay. Well, I'll filter through these, and then I'll get back to you. So, guys, we have actually gone and played. We sim two friendlies. Um, it was just Roma we lost to, and Zagagorza, Zaragoza, sorry, um, we beat 2 0. But I did simulate, I didn't actually play them. 
As for signings, we've been unable to get anyone within our price range, but we have sold some people. <clears throat> I'm going to show you our transfer history. So we obviously brought in Ruda Goodaibala. Montoya was a deal that was obviously done last season. We have sold some good players here. We've sold Correa, Savic, Morata. We didn't have the choice, but he went. Juventus have gained two strikers of us here. And also the likes of like Soto decided to go, um, Perez. And, you know, I think also there you can see Ibanez went and Paulo or Paolo sorry um which means obviously we have now got we've got a tidy transfer budget we've got 43 million um pounds to spend but we're not getting the right players scouted to us yet and I've not really got anyone in my head that instantly clicks um the players that we could do with midfielders no we're stacked with midfielders loads of them possibly a backup goalkeeper because Oblak is the only sort of um Hang on, is he the only... Is he the only goalkeeper? Well, it's a good job I noticed that. Let's quickly sort that out. Um, if we add in the B team... What goalkeepers have we got here for him? Christian Gomez. Wow, he's... He's not looking great, is he? Um, any of these? That's the one we just looked at. Um, okay, th this could be a bit of an issue, actually. We, we actually might need to go out and um, sign a backup um, goalkeeper here. I think I'm clicking on the same the same people here. Oh, he looks okay. Breakthrough prospect as well. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do here, then. We will move him to the Atletico Madrid squad. Get him in the actual first team. Why not? Um... So backup goalkeeper, we're kind of okay for. Possibly, if anyone knows one that is quite cheap, good shout there. Right back, we're sort of covered for. We've actually got three that can play there. Left back, we've got a couple. Um, and also the, the youngster who I showed you earlier. Centre backs, we're fine. We've got depth there. Midfield's fine. I think, really, what we're looking for, to be honest, where's Griezmann? I'm sorry, where is Griezmann gone? Griezmann. Has he been deranked? Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Why have I not thought of that? That is rookie from me. Of course, he was he was on loan, wasn't he? He was on loan, and I I didn't get anything about buying him. I, I seriously don't even know why why I didn't even think of that. So that means then we really... We could do with signing a winger, guys, to be honest with you. Um, we've got depth there, but unfortunately the depth isn't as good as what I thought it was. So we do need to sign a winger. Um, we need to register some of these guys, actually. Um, so we'll do that nearer the time. Um, we've got to be careful about wage cap as well. But yeah, so a winger. If anyone knows a good winger... Please let me know because I will definitely, I always read the comments and I will look. So definitely need a winger either on the left or the right, preferably more. Either's fine actually because I can play him on either. And striker, well possibly a backup striker now as well. So we do have to do some business in this market. But I feel like this video has already got to quite a long, a long period. So I'm going to leave it there guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have Please do leave a like, drop a comment on some suggestions, get me out of the mud because I am stuck, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it enough, please do leave a like on the video, and please do subscribe, turn on notifications for plenty more uploads. Underneath my camera, I've personally selected a video which I really think you'll like, and also up next on the other side is a video that YouTube think you might like from my channel. So please do check them out, guys. Also, if you do want to keep in touch with me, be sure to follow my socials. I've got my Instagram and my Twitter above. I love to interact with you guys. But last but not least, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.